as I promised in my last video, today we're going to actually do another shoe battle. This one is all about split toe shoes from Europe. Uh, so before we get started, just a difference between an Adelaide and a split toe. Split toe is a derby. Okay, All of these are derbies. Um, Adelaide's are Oxfords. Uh, the Adelaide has the youth throat up at the uh, facing, okay? And the uh, split toes have a um, an apron down toward the toe and then have a stitch uh, right in between the toes, hence a split toe. So uh, anyway, without further ado, here we go. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And our channel, we talk about men's dress wear. Um, it's all about footwear and we talk about unboxing videos, um, general shoe knowledge, helping you understand the industry and what's happening with your shoes. Uh, we look at shoes critically to determine whether or not they're worth the price that they charge. Uh, we compare shoe to shoe to understand which one is the best of the same category. And then I interview experts in the field to get their take as well. Check out my playlists to see all my videos. Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a, a very quick shoe battle on a number of split toe shoes uh, just to try to uh, build some uh, awareness and understanding of what the different uh, designs are. So we're going to start with the uh, by um, the least expensive and move to the most expensive. Uh, just really talking about what makes the shoes good, what, what, what are interesting things to look for, and uh, what are the differences in style uh, to be aware of. This isn't going to be your typical uh, quantitative shoe battle where I actually go in and look at stitch densities and, and so forth because I just don't have the time and it'll get confusing because we're talking about 13 different pairs of shoes. So we're talking about split toes. We're talking about split toes that originate in Europe. And let's get started. So the first one is this. This is a Sons of Henry uh, George. And this is a... Um, uh, a really cool split toe. It has the um, leather on the apron is actually um, raised up and sewn together into a little ridge. Uh, generally speaking, this type of thing is hand sewn when it's this type of thing, and then they have a uh, this type of stitch, and then they have a reverse stitch on the toe. Um, so that's actually sewn in the other direction so that it's smooth to the feel. Uh, it's not invisible, um, it is actually there. So it's not what I would consider a skin stitch. Uh, but it is reversed. So now this, the coloring, this is museum calf, um, and uh, and then it has a heel cap on it as well, um, and is is one piece of leather, okay, uh, versus uh, what you'll find a, a lot of times is like a derby style where it's another piece here, and then the eyelets are actually attached to the heel. So that's uh, that's not the way this one is done. Um, now the the next one we're going to look at. So that's this is made in Spain. Uh, this is also made in Spain. This is a TLB Mallorca. Um, this is the Owen, which is part of the TLB mainline. And uh, this is a, uh, an interesting one. This is in a, um, a, a country grain. Um, and this one has a skin stitch, so you can barely see the split on the toe there. And it also has a pie crust apron, um, so that it's actually like, like has a texture to it, very similar to a pie crust, which is why they call it that. Um, so again, it's in the Blucher style has a beautiful heel cap on it and uh, just a really interesting design of a shoe. So what's different about the two is the toe stitch and the, uh, the hand stitch on the, uh, on the apron. Now we're going to move right over next to Spain in, in Portugal um, and this is the Carlos Santos. Uh, they make really great shoes and this is one that has um, a different type of stitch. So this has the two pieces are actually sewn together, kind of like in a uh, like a rope, but uh, it actually has the flap peeled over the edge, okay, on top of the rope. Okay, so there is a stitch line here and there's a stitch line there, uh, but again, it is skin stitched at the toe, so it's different. This is also in suede, has big caps, like the, the heel caps on this are actually very, very big, um, but also a, uh, a hole cut, uh, or th this is the Blucher style versus the Derby style. Now, this one, this is actually from France. This is a Paraboot, uh, the Paraboot Avignon. Now, this, uh, this apron is totally different. It's actually sewn on the top, so it actually rests on top and then is sewed down. Uh, a lot of times, this is done by machine. Um, and then it also has the reverse stitch here. Uh, now, this is a Norwegian welt, so it has a, this is a machine Norwegian welt, which is very different. Um, goes around the outside. Um, not your typical hand welt. 
um, but it has a double top line as well. So you have the top line here, which is the top part of the shoe. This has like a secondary top line below it on, on both sides. Uh, it does not have heel caps um, and actually is one piece of leather all the way around and is joined here on the side. So um, kind of different, um, really interesting style. Um, big, huge, clunky uh, rubber soles, uh, which is always fun. So now this is your traditional derby, right? And it has the uh, derby piece here, so it goes around to the back, has heel cap on top of that, and then has this raised apron um, and a raised toe to match. Almost looks like they've got a piece of piping underneath it. It's uh, just very raised and has that, that pattern. Beautiful um, pattern though, and this is all hand stitched as part of the Norwegian stitching. Uh, so very cool. This is a Carmina, also from Spain, and uh, this has a combination sole. Um, so it has leather and uh, has the rubber insert that's actually sewn in as part of the process. So kind of a nice uh, thing. I, it, Carmina calls that a Tomir sole. So now the next one we're going to look at, this is actually another double top line. Okay. Uh, but this one has a, where the other double top line had a reverse stitch in the front, this has a raised stitch in the front and is um, also where the two pieces are, are joined and raised above to create that little crevice. So it's a, it's a different type again. And um, this is a Bruno Mali out of um, Italy, um, also with that machine stitch, Norwegian stitch. Um, again, very different, not your typical um, Norwegian or anything like that. It is just, uh, but they do call it Norwegian for whatever reason. So an interesting one there. Now, all of these are Goodyear welted, and some of these others are Goodyear welted as well. But the first one that I'm going to be talking about here that's hand welted um, is this one. And, and this has a raised um, pie crust, okay, and um, on the toe and on the apron. Uh, it has a double top line, okay, as well. So you can see the top line and the top line, right? Um, and also the, the seam in the same place. So it is that style, but the apron, very, very different, right? The other two, one was um, a machine sewn, and the other one was raised. This one is that pie crust, okay? Now, this is in a hatch grain, so the, the leather has its own texture. Um, and when you look at the, um, uh, at the, the details around it, this has really intricate, um, you know, uh, uh, fudging on it, and it's just a, a very classic higher end shoe with like a day night type sole. And this is an Enzo Bonafe um, uh, from Italy. So really interesting, um, you know, as, as, as it goes in there. So, so we've had Spain, 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 Portugal, France, Spain, Italy, Italy. And then here we have our first one from England. Uh, this is a Crockett and Jones Hardwick. Now this has the double raised uh, um, uh, stitch here, uh, which is actually in, um, uh, is kind of uh, blended. You can actually see like a little tension here uh, where the bluchers go out. So it's actually under the blucher, which is kind of cool. Um, the stitching on this is more visible um, and it is, uh, but it does not wrap over um, and it, it, but it has a little bit of an angle to it. So a little different. Also a reverse stitch in the front. Um, and of course this is suede as well, so it has a little bit of a different look to it. Uh, I have a lot of suede split toes, I really like that look. Uh, also has a double top line, right? Now the double top line on this is a different style of a double top line, it's much higher. Uh, it's only one eyelet down, some of the other ones are two eyelets down. So um, that's, a, that's a big difference. And um, you know, the way that it connects in the back, um, these all have, uh, like this one with the double top line has um, just an extension there for the back. This one has an entirely separate patch for the back. So again, difference in design. This has what they call a city sole, which is a rubber sole with this cool pattern on it. Um, so again, a, a different look and a uh, different, uh, different design. Then we have this. This is in a scotch grain, very, um, very, very cool design here. This has the machine apron on the top and has a reverse stitch in the front. Uh, basic heel caps in the back, okay, or heel quarters in the back. Um, very, very straightforward, not a uh, super fancy design, uh, more of a classic design. This is Foster and Sons, 
and really fits into the uh, Foster and Son, excuse me, and really fits into the ethos of the conservative English shoe in this more edgy, if you will, design. Then we move to um, the Ascot Khan, uh, also sewn in England, uh, lasted in Budapest, and this has a really intricate double rail um, pie crust apron and a very, very beautiful skin stitch toe um, that really takes that split and takes it to the next level. Really uh, cool, this is also in a hatch grain. Um, very nice shoe, um, single top line. Uh, just a very elegant example on an elegant last uh, of how this can work. Now this one, this is a Bontoni, um, and this has kind of like a saddle pattern in the back here and has a split toe apron, and that is a pie crust apron, and is raised, um, but not around a, uh, like a, a piece of piping, so it's raised in a pie crust kind of way um, around it. This also has a traditional Norwegian uh, Norvegese stitch around it, so, um, and has a, a Vibram uh, commando sole. Um, so a very different kind of appearance here. Also has the patch in back, also has the double top line, uh, but that double top line is really related to that uh, saddle type feature uh, because it comes up here as well. So again, very different design, uh, but a, a very interesting and intricate shoe. Now this one is um, uh, Apollo Scafora, also hand welted, um, also with the Norvegese. This has a totally different type of apron on the front. And, um, you know, which would kind of like a rope stitch. The, the stitching between each different area here is very, very fine. They're very close together. So that the stitch densities on the top is different. It has a much longer split on the toe and a much more rounded apron, a very different look. That a lot of times they'll call this a French apron. And that's a, uh, a again, just a different way of looking at this particular shoe. Uh, Palo Scaforos have uh, leather soles with a beautiful sole pattern on them. Um, this is made out of Positano calf and has the double uh, uh, line, double top line on it as well, um, but it doesn't have the, uh, it has a, a blucher type uh, sides instead of the one that wraps all the way around. So also with the patch, just like the Crockett and Jones. So interesting, uh, interesting design there. Now the stitching and stuff is different as we go there as well. Now then, I thought I would include a boot. Um, I have a couple different boots, but this is a very, very different design on the boot. It has a beautiful, um, intricate um, hand-stitched piece on the apron, which I think is just really elegant and has a different look. Also has a very, very tight skin stitch uh, toe um, on the split. This is also in a hatch grain, and um, this is uh, Gaziano and Girling Thorpe, um, also out of England. So uh, to, we have the England, Italy, Italy on the um, Palo Scafora, Italy on Bontoni, Ascot in, in the UK, um, uh, Foster and Sons UK, Crockett and Jones UK, then Enzo Bonafe, Italy, Bruno Mali, Italy, Carmina, Spain, Paraboot, France, Carlos Santos, Portugal, um, TLB Mallorca in Spain, and then Sons of Henry in Spain. So thanks for watching. I'm uh, going to keep this one short. Let me know your thoughts and whether you'd like to see individual shoe battles among the split toes. Thanks much.